Hello and welcome back to Hot to the Top for the final time this season. And we are in very familiar territory. It's almost deja vu from last season. And we all know how that one ended up. So before we get into all of the ins and outs of what could possibly happen in today's episode, just want to let you know that this is going to be the final episode for a couple days. Now, obviously, Christmas coming from the UK, I'm going to be really busy over Christmas seeing family. I'm sure you all guys are as well. Also, I am in desperate need of a bit of a break as well. It's been a very busy December, so I'm in desperate need of a bit of a break away from making videos. So obviously, this is the last episode of the season. I wouldn't expect another video coming out until, let me look at the calendar quickly, like the 27th maybe. So, you've, I mean, you've got most of the I mean, it's only four days without a hop to the top video. Three days, technically, actually, I suppose, without a hop to the top video. We might start again on Monday the 30th. I don't know. I'll let you know on Twitter either way. But I'm sort of thinking 27th, Friday 27th, is when we'll get back to hop to the top the next season. But hopefully, we're going to finish things off on a high before we go on a little sort of mini break over Christmas. As currently, we are top of the table as things stand with three games to go and a cup final to play. Sounds very similar to last season, doesn't it? And last season, it all fell apart. Hopefully, we've learned from those mistakes. Now, I'll put a screenshot up on the screen for you right now. With five games to go, us, Luzerne and Basel were all sitting on 62 points. It was poised. It's poised. You know, it was really tight. Young boy's not too far off either, but it's really between us, Luzerne and Basel. And I've played two games since then, and the league table has changed. So before we look at the updated table, this is how things shaped up since you were last here for the losses to Eintracht Frankfurt and the win against St. Garland and the loss to Basel, I suppose, as well. Uh, we had a 1-1 draw with Lugano, which wasn't brilliant, I've got to say. Uh, Felipe Cruz was sent off in the 18th minute, which didn't really help things. And we actually did well to end up drawing that game. Molnar getting a goal in the 17th minute for us there, which was good to see. He then picked up a brace against Young Boys in the Swiss Cup semi-final. So we got revenge then beating us in the final last season and we head into the Swiss Cup final this season, which is coming up on today's episode. We then had two massive wins in the league following that. A 5-0 drubbing of Servette with Jake Allen, Neto, Molnar, Illich and an own goal helping us to a 5-0 win there. And then we had a 3-0 win over our rival Zurich, Gonzalo, Jake Allen and Molnar with the goals in that one. So that was pretty good to see as well. Today then, we've got Luzerne coming up first, who are currently, as you can see there, second in the table. And then we've also got Winterthur in the Swiss Cup final, who are actually eighth in the Swiss Challenge League. They're eighth in the second division. So I don't want to say this is an automatic win for us, because obviously they've got to the final. They're obviously a decent side, but when you consider the golfing quality, this is a win, surely. Should we need it, we also have games against Sion and Toon coming up as well. If we need them, we might not. Hopefully we don't. I don't want a repeat of last season, really. Luzerne have slipped up in their past couple games after being on an incredible run, winning plenty of games. They've drawn two in a row. And then if we click on Basel as well, well, Basel have just fallen apart. I mean, they beat us. But they, they, they've not won any single league game since then. So really, Basel, who were top of the table by seven points at one point, have just dropped. And to the point where I don't think they're going to be winning the league title, unfortunately for them. They are through to the final of the Europa Conference League. It's good for Swiss clubs, so hopefully that'll help our coefficient get boosted. Obviously, I would have loved it for us to be in the cup final of the Europa Conference League or something like that. But unfortunately, it's Basel going there instead. So good luck to them against Arsenal Tula from Russia. What it all means for the league table then, after all those results, is that we sit top of the table on 68 points. Four points ahead of Luzerne and a good six points ahead of Barza, who are just in terrible, terrible form. So... We've got three games left to play. If we beat Luzerne today, we go seven points clear at the top of the table with two games to play. We've won the league title. Beautiful. If we draw, we stay top of the table by four points with two games to go. It's hopefully only a matter of time before we win the league title. But of course, we said that last season. If Luzerne win, then obviously they go one point behind us and then it really is game on. Can't really see Basel or Young Boys troubling us this season. So it just is between us and Luzerne. So hopefully... We get it done. And of course, we're playing Luzerne, so it makes it even more exciting. So let's get straight into this particular game and hopefully wrap the league title up today rather than last season when it all went 
horribly wrong. So we do have a couple of injuries to key players. Obviously, Boone's still injured and Schneider's picked up a knock as well in between episodes. But we do have a pretty strong lineup. We've got Fructal in goal with a back line of Anastasio. Uh, Bian Kone is coming into that centre-back role today because he's played actually quite well, though. We sort of tested him out a little bit and he's done quite well. I mean, we've got Bozanovic, of course, to bring on as well if we want to, but he's played well, so I, I kind of think it's worth it. Augusto is going to be partnering him up in that middle of the park with Cruz also playing at right back. Illich and Neto in the midfield because, of course, Randy Schneider's injured. Claude Maurice on the left, Allen on the right, Alex Smith through the middle, and Molnar, who's picked up quite a few goals, now up to 26, eclipsing Coley's 25, is leading the line for us today. Hopefully, he fires in four goals to go up to 30 for the season and we win the league title. So then, kickoff is upon us today. We're at home. We've got, we hopefully should have a massive crowd here today to potentially see us lift the league title, which would be amazing if that happened. Hopefully, Lucerne don't come and spoil things. As Felipe Cruz's free kick is put into the air, it's clear, but only as far as Allen. Allen playing it back to Anastasio, who can come forward on the ball. Can he get a cross in? Not quite. Being Kone, Anastasio, being Kone back again, back to Anastasio. Come on, get a good cross in the middle. We want a goal early on as. They've it's been blocked, unfortunately, and Lucerne looking to build from the back, playing it out from the back rather than hoofing up, which is quite risky, particularly when we are a relatively good pressing side, as I thought we are about to get the interception in there. Why are they not getting rid of it? Because that's going to happen. Alex Smith oh, nearly scores. We nearly punished them then, but if Lucerne keep doing that, we're going to score a goal, surely, as Felipe Cruz's corner into the middle, collected by the keeper. 30 minutes into the game now and we are looking to build from the back ourselves as Claude Maurice comes forward with the ball through to Molnar. What a good through ball that was and it was nearly perfect. If there's going to be a goal in today's game, it's coming from us as Illich puts the ball over the bar. Are we going to have a repeat? I don't want a repeat of last season. We just need to win this game and then it can just put it to bed. Otherwise, those fears are going to start creeping into my head and the players' heads probably and we'll just throw it away again. I mean, Lucerne will go and win the league title, which would be terrible. Obviously, winning the league title is massive this season. Alex Smith gets only his fifth goal of the season, but it doesn't matter how many goals he score because he's put it in the back of the net. You love to see it. Thank you. Neto then got it into... At Felipe Cruz, who plays it back out towards Illich. Illich just knocks it inside to Smith. First time shot, near post, beautiful. As I was saying though, it's very important to win the league title this season because the winner of the league gets automatically placed into the Champions League group stages. And that is huge. That is a real money spinner for us. If we can get there, not only are we attracting better quality players because they want to play Champions League football... Obviously, we go straight to the group stage, which is even better for players wanting to join us. But the money we can make from the Champions League, just from the TV money and the prize money, is massive. And the aim would obviously to be trying to qualify from the Champions League group. That would be the, the biggest aim. However, we can finish third and go into the Europa League. And that is a competition that, with better players coming in next season, I think we could potentially win. So it's a win-win situation. As long as we come to the top three of our Champions League group, should we get there as, oh, for... Fructal's sake. Fructal, what are you doing? He's literally palmed that into the back of the net. And it's because I'm talking about us being in the Champions League. The football manager gods can hear me. It's not even a great header to be fair. It was a volley and Fructal just, he drops it almost into the back of the net. For goodness sake. Okay, well, in that case, uh, Molnar's coming off the pitch. He's not played well. He looks nervous out there. So Coley can come on for him. Who's not played well? Anastasio hasn't, but no one can come on for him because we've got no other left-backs at the moment. Allen hasn't played well, oh, but no one really can come on for him. So we'll leave it like it is for now. Come on, boys. I really believe in you. Let's go attacking as Lucerne have nearly grabbed a second. Seriously, boys, show some passion. There's a goal kick. All we need is a 90th minute winner and then we'll win the league title. Come on, Augusto. Up towards Alex Smith, the goal scorer. He puts it out to Maurice. Maurice to put a, 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 cro a, cro a corner in. What am I trying to say? A cross. A mixing corner and cross up there. But instead, Augusto is being sent off. How many red cards and yellow cards have we had this? This is actually ridiculous. So you hate to see that. Uh, what it means is we're going to just go for a three-man defence, which is, oh, that's probably a terrible idea. But we have, we have now got a chance. Cruz, come on. Neto. Neto. In the middle, cleared, and we've only got being going back now. Oh, this was a terrible idea. Why did I not bring another defender on? We could have done. 
thankfully, thankfully, Fructal saves that. And whilst we've not won the league title here today, it's going to go to... Oh, it's, it's the repeat of last season. I can already feel it. It is a repeat of last season. Oh, for God's sake, has Cruz now been sent off? Seriously. Seriously. Honestly, we're making this so hard for ourselves. So hard. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. If they score from this as well, I'll be so upset. If they score from this, Fructal with a good save. That's surely going to be time now. It goes down to another game, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, we will get it across the line. We're still four points clear. We've got to lose both our games. They've got to win both their games. So, I mean, because our goal difference is so good. So hopefully that won't happen. So Cruz banned for a match, Augusto banned for a match as well. I mean, it's not ideal, obviously, but it's something we've got to now deal with. But we can now switch our attention to the Swiss Cup final, though Alex Smith wants a new contract, apparently. I think he had a... Well, maybe he hadn't had a new contract. He got his new contract... He's had not had a new contract for nearly two years now. Let's discuss it with him then. Let's discuss it with him. Uh, but he's, he doesn't want one now because I've spoken to him about it and he's now happy that I'm... Okay, mate. Cruz has set a record for poor discipline with two yellow cards and 23 yellow cards. That is fair play. So let's just have a quick look at their discipline. Gonzalo is on 23 yellow cards. Felipe Cruz is on 18 yellow cards and four red cards. Augusto is on 18 and one. Jordan Boone's on 14 yellow cards. Illich on... This is actually ridiculous, isn't it? It's actually ridiculous how many yellow cards we pick up. You kind of love to see it though, don't you? It's just so funny. In other news, Basel have in other news, Basel have just beaten Zurich, which pretty much guarantees Zurich or Lugano are definitely going down. I mean, look on the balance of play, you'd probably say Zurich are going down on their goal difference. Uh, but Lugano obviously probably going to that relegation playoff, so they're maybe just saving themselves there. If we if we can't beat Winterthur, if we literally cannot beat Winterthur, then I'm going to be upset. I mean, it's the best chance we've got of winning some silver. It'll be the first bit of silverware. Well, second bit. We won the league title, didn't win that first season of the Challenge League. But that was only a second division title. It's not that important. The Swiss Cup final is big. It's the first bit of major silverware we could win. We could do a team meeting, but we found out last season they just do not work. We're going to make a couple of changes. We're going to bring Gonzalo back onto the pitch with Biancone and bring him onto the bench for Keller instead. Uh, I'm going to trust Molnar still to play up front. And to be fair, I'll probably just trust the rest of the team. It is the best lineup we've probably got. And we do want to win it, obviously. So we're going to leave things as it is for now. Let's just submit that team and come on. let us It's a second division side who are nearly relegated from a second division. Surely we've got to win it. So kickoff is upon us. Interestingly, a highlight straight from kickoff, which makes me kind of think that we are going to concede the goal very early on, unfortunately. Illich puts it out towards Allen, who can put the cross into the middle... In the middle? No, he loses it, but only as far as Neto. Go on, lad, bang it from distance. Someone bang it. Please, I want a, I want a 30-yard spectacular goal. That's what I want to see is Felipe Cruz out wide into Allen, into the middle. And it's still not in the back of the net. What's going on? How has that got not in the back of the net? Hopefully, that's not a sign of things to come. I want us to be clinical. I want four or five goals in today's game as we've nearly got the first one. Augusto's header bouncing back off the crossbar there from that nice bit of set piece. Uh, Illich on the edge of the area. Can he bang one? No, he should have done though, shouldn't he? Because he's got another chance. Alex Smith with a chance. Still going wide. I won't lie to you. I am getting quite nervous now that we're just we're just not going to do it. I can feel it sort of coming, which is really frustrating as we've got a little bit of luck on our side there. Alex Smith's shot, I think, was half saved by the keeper. And maybe he pushed it onto the crossbar, which bounced back down over the line. We'll see here, of course, in the replay. We've got quite lucky with that one, I've got to say. As Smith bangs it. Yeah, it just sort of bounces off the crossbar and into the back of the net. It could have bounced out. That would have been frustrating. But we are 1-0 up in the cup final. And if we can just stay like this and not lose it like we did last time to young boys, I'll be very happy. I don't know. It doesn't quite feel like a cup final to me. I think it's because we are playing a team from a second division and we are heavy favourites. It doesn't quite feel 
as exciting as perhaps a cup final would do if it was against young boys. But Molnar grabs the second of the game to put his 2-0 up, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable now as well. Look at the amount of people turning up for this cup final as well. That's pretty impressive. As Felipe Cruz, I think we're playing in Young Boys Stadium. I think that's where we're playing for the cup final. Cause it's got to be neutral. So Young Boys is probably like the biggest stadium around, I think. But this will be Grasshopper's first bit of major domestic silverware for a long, long time, actually. We'll have a check afterwards if we manage to win it the last time they won something. I think they last won like a league title in the early 2000s, I think. It's been quite a long time for Grasshoppers to actually win something. So overdue, massively overdue. This is Augusto on the ball. Can he get it in to Felipe Cruz? He does. If we can grab a third before half-time, surely that's game over as Augusto looking to come forward into Illich. Illich out to Claude Maurice. Claude Maurice into the middle. Alex Smith looking for a second. Nearly there. Molnar It's headed behind. They're keeping themselves in it just about. They're just about in touching distance, but they've got a long way to go in the second half. All we have to keep doing is just keep them at arm length away, which we are doing right now. Two two goals up, that's arm length away in my opinion. If we can get a third, that's even better. As Molnar nearly does it. If anything, I feel actually a little bit bad about beating Winter Tour in the final because they've done they've defied all the odds to get to the final. It's like a fairy tale. I mean, if I was a, a general football fan right now, I'd be supporting Winterthur massively. I'd want them to win it because they're the underdogs. And I feel a bit bad about beating them because they are the underdogs. Like, so big underdogs. And it's a miracle that they've even probably got to the final sort of thing. As Claude Maurice puts in a corner, a cross, a free kick. The cross came in from the free kick. And Augusto gets on the end of it for his first goal of the season. Making it 3-0 in the final. I think that is probably going to be it now. So we're going to bring Bozanovic on for Augusto on a yellow card. Uh, we will bring, uh, who's not played, well, everyone's played quite well to be fair. We'll take Alex Smith off though on a yellow, on a yellow card for Shy Digger and Hartman can come on for Molnar up front as well. There we go. Have some chances, boys. Impress me. It would actually be quite nice if like a like a Hartman or a Shy Digger or a Bosanovic could get a goal right at the end of the final so their names would go down in folklore and, you know, obviously the, the new generation of players coming through to inspire us to plenty of victories. Wintertour, though, are coming forward. Can they grab a consolation goal? That's the first highlight we've seen for them actually having a shot, I think. Only their fifth of the game. And it was, well, it was a terrible shot, really, wasn't it? No power on it. Straight at the keeper. Not good enough to win the game. A Scheidegger looking to come forward out to Anastasio. Come on, lads. Let's get one more goal and then we can just settle down for the win. And we can, let's watch. We'll go to 3D Engine as well in a minute to see his lift for title. The Scheiger puts that one just over the bar. Is there a chance for one more goal? Alan coming forward. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I think he just whacked that against the post and hit it so hard it sort of went over the bar. Or so, I'm not entirely sure. But that, as my voice breaks there, that was a bit of an embarrassing one. Surely that is going to be that. It is. And there we go. Our first bit of major domestic silverware as we win... The Swiss Cup final, 3-0 against Winterthur. It was always going to go to us, I suppose, really, because it was... I feel a bit bad that we've had to play Winterthur. Like, we could have anyone, but we've had a relatively easy challenge in the final, which I'm not complaining about, but it just sort of took a little bit away from the occasion, maybe. But we have won our first Swiss Cup. Huge. Now, if we can just go and beat Sion, we'll win the title as well, and that would be a perfect episode. What's even better... The media are calling me a legend. They're saying I'm a legend. Am I actually a legend at the club? Am I actually... I'm only favoured personnel down there. Don't call me a legend and get my hopes up in the news article when I'm not a legend yet on that thing. So the last time we won a cup title... So the last time Grasshoppers won a cup was in the 2012-13 season. Before that, you have to go back to 1993. Plenty of lost finals as well. Sion have won quite a few finals. I think someone was telling me that Sion are the only club who have won it from the second division when they're in the second division. So that's quite impressive to see on. But thankfully, we are there to win it, which I am really, really pleased with. That's the first bit of major silverware. Now let's go and get our second. So obviously, we've got to make a couple changes because Augusto and Cruz are suspended, thankfully, for today's game. Thank you very much for that, lads. Uh, so they'll swap out and we'll bring some other players on. We'll bring Bian County and Bozan Novich on. Other than that, though, as Schneider's still out for a few days, I know they're tired, but... I think, I think that's the best team out. I think that's the best team we could possibly put out. So that's what we're going to go for. Yes, they are tired. And yes, Sion are our bogey team, as we have seen before, unfortunately. I think they can do it. So as kickoff is upon us, obviously, if we lose today, like we did last season against Sion in this very same game, actually, 
we uh, if we lose, we have to go to another game. Unless, of course, Luzerne lose. Although Basel have suddenly jumped up to 66 points. How have they done that? I'm not in... <laughs> How have Basel done that all of a sudden? I don't quite know. We'll double check this in a second as Sion come forward. Bozanovic, huge. That was good as Molnar can't quite win the ball, but we just get it straight back from, from Sion. As the ball's put forward to Molnar, come on, lad. Not quite scoring it. How have Basel got on then? Have they just played some extra games or something like that? They beat Zurich 5-1. I missed that one, clearly. So, obviously, they've won a game in there somewhere. And they're not winning yet either. So, obviously, I don't know. I must have thought Basel are on less points than they actually are as Luzerne dropped down to third. But Molnar coming forward. We need to focus on our game instead as Molnar can't quite get the ball into the middle. He does that time. Allen has put one hand on the title for you. The 10th of the season. We are nearly there. We are nearly, nearly there. 75 minutes away now from winning our first league title. After last season's final episode went terribly wrong, today it might go all right for us. Come on. The thing is, though, we can't get too excited because Sion are our bogey side, all right? They, they just do well against us for some reason, as we've seen in many pivotal games before, as they've had a good go there at scoring. Unfortunately, though, Sion are still coming for us, although they've just given the ball away, but we've given it straight back, but have just recycled it quite nicely as Fructal clears it up towards Allen. Come on, lad. We use your pace or a fantastic pass like that to Molnar. Molnar through. Oh, should have just taken it around the keeper. Coley would have taken it around the keeper, but he's not on the pitch, unfortunately. We've got another chance to come forward, and actually we've won a free kick. And we have been dangerous from free kicks, but clearly not that one because it wasn't a highlight for it. As we start to approach half-time... I'm starting to believe, and I hope you... Uh, I, I, why have I said that? Why did I say that? I should not have said I'm starting to believe as Illich coming forward now. Come on. Come on, Illich. Show me what you're worth. Oh, he nearly does, to be fair. We are, though, winning the game. 1-0 at half-time, which is good. Now, Basel are beating Servette 3-0, while Luzerne are losing to Young Boys. Luzerne, fingertips were on the title at one point... Unfortunately now for them, they are in third position and they'll be they'll be two points away from Basel and obviously can't, couldn't get close to us, obviously. But obviously we'll get down to the last game of the season for those two as to who's going to go to the Champions League with us. We are happy though because we're now 60 minutes into the game and we've just scored a second goal. Alex Smith with his seventh of the season, our third of the episode as well. He's finally starting to score some goals towards the end of this one as Alan put in a free kick. And Smith was there at the far post to just head it over the keeper. We're 2-0 up now. Sion are at arm's reach away. I think this this could be it now. I'm, we can't lose it from this. Surely we can't lose from this. As Anastasio can't get the ball into the middle. And it's Sion looking to clear. But only as far as Gonzalo. Gonzalo back to Fructal. Just keep hold of possession. Let's not do anything stupid right now, boys. Nothing stupid. I want sensible play. I want us to score some nice goals as Molnar. Oh, come on, lad. Oh, nearly, nearly. 15 minutes to go. And there's a, a Sion highlight. And it's, you know, it's not unheard of for us to concede quite a few goals late on in games. But we're not going to do it today. We are not going to do it today. It's, they look to come forward. All right. And they're, come on, better defending. We want to tackle and retain possession, not just give it straight back to them. I don't want to concede a goal because then I'll start to get really nervous and I hate that as they look to be... <laughs> okay. Well, they brought one back. But that's not the end of the world because if we draw, we will still be four points ahead of Basel and we can still win the league title. But it's if they, if they score a third goal, we have to go to the final game of the season again. Fortunately, though, with five minutes to go, there's a highlight maybe coming in our favour as Alan... Plays it into Neto. Bozanovic nearly gives it away. But being Kone now puts it across to Claude Maurice. Who can put it forward to Anastasio. Back to Claude Maurice. Come on. That's a beautiful ball forward to Molnar. Gets tackled in the area though. And that was the highlight. All right. Seriously. No more highlights. They've gone defensive. Why have they gone defensive? They just changed their formation to a five at the back formation. Why aren't they going for the win? I mean, that's fine by me. I don't quite understand what they're doing, especially as they've just given the ball away to us there as Allen. Come on. In towards Molnar, not quite getting there, but Illich gets there. Can he put the ball forward? He does. Molnar, come on, finish it off. Not quite. But there's two minutes to go in today's game. Let's go back out to the, uh, the, the, the director camera so we can see ourselves lifting the title because I think it's going to happen. There's less than 30 seconds left in today's game. Come on, Allen. 
Get it in the middle or something like that. Please, Bianconi. Out. Oh, he's lost possession. Okay, here comes Sion. It's a bad tackle, but they've still come forward. They've nearly... Fructor with a huge save there. A huge save. The resulting corner then. Surely the referee should blow his whistle by now. We're over the time allowed for added time. And they're just wasting it now. Come on, referee. Blow that whistle for full time. And we can celebrate winning the league title. Come on. Come on. So what are we waiting for? What is going on here? Please don't tell me the game is about to like glitch out. Come on. Okay, finally. In the middle. Fructal collects it. Into the crowd. Into the crowd. Into the crowd. That's not the crowd. It's actually through to Molnar. Can he score? Can he score a third? No, he's offside. Okay. Now surely blow the whistle. He does. You love to see it. We've done it. All right. We have hopped to the top of Swiss football. That's a line I've been waiting to say for a long time. I've been planning on saying that for months now. Months I've been planning to say that. But we've hopped to the top of Swiss football. Beautiful. Of course, we are nowhere near hopping to the very top. We have, we've got a long way to go to where we actually want to be, which is one of the best leagues in all of Europe, if not the best league in all of Europe. But we've crossed off a very important milestone by winning the league title. So I'm very pleased with that. And as the media say, we have done the double, which is absolutely fantastic. The cup and the league title, beautiful. It's the first league title as well since 2003, which makes it even more sweeter as well. I love it. It means we have now won the title 27 times as a... It means Grasshoppers have now won 27 league titles, which is just amazing. Most importantly, though, we've qualified for the Champions League group stages. That is a huge, huge milestone. Uh, and we've been, we've been given £10 million to spend and 155k per week for wages, which is a bit of an increase on the wage side, which is nice to see. And we've done it all with a game to spare as well, but don't worry, we won't show you that one. All the excitement's over now, there's no point doing that really. So I've got to say, what a terrific season it's been overall. We're doubting ourselves a little bit, but we've come back and we've done well. So obviously now I've got to go and play uh, the final game of the season, but then the summer window as well. But of course, we're not gonna have another episode until the 27th at the least so I look forward to that I hope you enjoy your Christmas break and you know have a nice time in the festivities if you don't celebrate Christmas I hope you have a good week and whatever you're doing enjoy it I'm going to take a very well deserved rest before getting back involved with this and, and signing plenty of players for next season for our Champions League campaign so overall then thank you thank you very much for watching so far all of the hops were top safe hope you have enjoyed it we've crossed off a major milestone today and hopefully we can just build from this now and have some more successful seasons so if you enjoyed this episode please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and i'll see you next time for some more hot for top have a good christmas goodbye